if you take nothing away from this video, take the fact that I feel that Jaclyn Hill could have her own makeup line by now if she wasn't fooling around with Morphe so much. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, you won't believe the drama. Oh, honey. Guys, did you guys see Jaclyn Hill's video yesterday? She dropped four palettes in one video, girl. I was shook, girl. Like, literally, she just dropped four palettes. Jeffree Star released one. Manny released one. Laura the Leech, Lover Cement, released one. Kylie Jenner's about to release her. She released one. And Jaclyn Hill released four Palettes, girl. Okay, so then I was thinking that it was gonna be like 40 bucks each. Girl, no ma'am. For all four, I think it's what, $48, $49? That's like the price of one Anastasia Beverly Hills palette or KKW palette or Too Faced Cosmetics palette. So you get four little palettes for the price of one. I was thinking, girl, that's too good to be true. That's too good to be true, you know what I'm saying? They say if it's too good to be true, then it probably is, girl. But then, girl, let me show you the receipt that just dropped. Jaclyn Hill, just here, we can roll the clip, girl, here we go. I just have to show you guys because I am so excited about our PR packages. They went out yesterday, so everyone will be receiving them today and tomorrow on the PR list. And it's literally like a mini little sparkly vault. And then it unlocks. There is the full collection. Isn't this so cool? Like me and Linda have been talking about this for months and months and months. And it was really hard to actually design. And I can't believe that they actually did it. And it's perfect. I'm so excited. Got it. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god, Jacqueline. It's so sparkly. Oh my god. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. Do you die? sparkly oh it God. is. Ah! I'm literally not going to use mine. I'm just going to put it on like my shelf of, yes. of the, I keep all my amazing stuff. <laughs> not bother. Why are, you, why are you sending that? Girl, I'm not going to get a vault like that. You know what I'm going to get? That little box. And when we, when we buy it, when we, us, the regular folks, buy it, we just gonna get the little box, girl. We're not gonna get a vault, girl, with diamond and crusty Swarovski. Girl, we're gonna get a busted ass little box, cardboard the house. You know Morphe and their famous cardboard, girl. Some of the little swatches in the video, they look a little patchy, girl. They look a little patchy, look a little dirty. They weren't all sickening the house. Gorgeous gold. I'm wearing this in my eyes right now. Sorry, sometimes I like go back and forth, back and forth. And I know a lot of you guys like it when I just do like one swatch. But I think it looks prettier when it's like dragged out like this. So you can like see what it looks like when you're actually like blending it on the eye. Girl, bah! You saw how she like secretly had to go in there for another little swatch, girl, and played it off, girl. Clock at the house. Clock in the house. Girl, bah. Girl. So when I saw it, I was like really excited that we get a mirror. I was like, okay, we got a mirror, girl. We're on to something, okay? So what I found very interesting about Jaclyn Hill's release is that she said that these colors were put in a vault. To me, she just glamorized it. These were the colors that didn't make the cut the first time around. That's all it is. So now, here they are. In a massive collection of four. As I would have, this is me personally, I would have much more appreciated another Jaclyn Hill palette the same size with a mirror as opposed to four individual. That's just me. Don't, I know, I already see the dislikes. I already know. Let me, I wanna know, do you appreciate the four? Would you much rather them having one giant palette or you just not bother, girl? So Jaclyn Hill said some very, so, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me roll the clip where she says it was kind of like put into the vault, girl. The collection that I am now launching with Morphe one year later are all of the other shadows that were kept in the vault. So after we launched my palette and we saw what a success it was, I was like, oh my God, I wish they could have seen all the other shades I have because they're so beautiful and narrowing it down was so difficult for me because I had so many amazing shades. And Linda was like, Let's release those two. So we kind of like sat around, and like tinker with that idea for like a month. We're like, finally we landed on this. So after we came up with this idea, I jumped on a plane, flew to LA, spent a couple of days in the Morphe office, and we pulled all of the shades that I created and formulated for the Jaclyn Hill palette that didn't actually get put into the palette. And I sat there and I said, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. 
I mean, I wish I could just walk into a factory and be like, this one, this one, this one, and then boom, make a palette and done. It's, it seemed kind of like thrown together, in my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly. I mean, that that right there, this one, this one, this one, damn it, girl. Did, was there really any thought into it? or You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I need a palette. Let me just put these together. I know it'll sell because it has my name on it. That's what it seems like to me. A few other shades that didn't make it, and then there were a few shades I also added. I was like, okay, this color story is almost perfect, but it's missing this one color. It's missing this one finish, so we would add it in. So you know what I'm saying? Like we compiled everything together and then made it even better. That way like it makes sense and it's a great story and they are great palettes. So this right here is 40 additional eyeshadows. It is the same formulation, pressed the same way, same pigmentation as the Jaclyn Hill palette, which we all know and hopefully we all love. Inside of the box you can see. So this is the actual vault collection that you have right here. There's also that same color story in there. So you can see like green dots, yellow dots, purple dots, and red dots, like confetti. So you never have to like be like, oh, which one is it? Like you know it's by looking at it. So a really exciting thing for me is on the inside of the palette, we have a mirror. Okay, love this match. So I think, okay, so I looked at the palettes. None of them, this is just me, and you know I'm, I'm a bit different from the rest of the folks, girl. I didn't really see a palette that I'm like, I have to get it. I have, this is the end all be all. I have to get this palette. If there was one that you saw that spoke to you that where you were like, I have to get this palette, let me know in the down below. So I want to know. But the more interesting tea is I kind of feel like Jaclyn Hill, as much energy as she has put into Morphe, she could have had her own makeup line, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Why is she continually why she can why she continues to ride the coattail of Morphe. She can do it all herself. See, it would benefit me to collab with Morphe. Girl, ain't nobody know me. I don't have a million subscribers, girl. I'm still trying, okay? But someone like Jaclyn Hill already, what, five million subscribers? She don't need Morphe at all. She's a brand within herself, girl. Stop licensing your name and do your own palette. I'm pretty sure people would love and support you and you'll make more money. Ain't no middleman, girl. You And you know what's so like mind blowing? Cause I know y'all are like ready to, well, relax. How dare you talk about Jacqueline Hill? You know what I'm saying? I already know, but just hear me out before you come, hear me out. And if you already have, May think about deleting your comment and leaving something a little nicer because I'm, I'm going to tell you the tea. Laura Leach, love her so much, has her own Laura Lee Cosmetics. Manny Amy Way, love him so much, Copper Eye Nude Lip Girl. She has Lunar Beauty. Jeffree Star Girl has his own company, okay? And they all have around 5 million subscribers. Jaclyn Hill you're in the same you're in the same league as these people and they have their own makeup line so is it safe so i'm kind of like well, wait a minute do do they might have more money than you not that it matters but i'm just saying like you are you missing now like from a business standpoint jacqueline hill do you feel like you hanging out with the morphe girls is slump is somewhat hindering you from being more successful as the other people in your group or maybe we don't know. Maybe it's more beneficial for her to be with Morphe. Maybe she makes more money with Morphe than she would if she had her own cosmetics line. We don't know because she don't tell us the tea, girl. But I already have somebody deep looking at all that drama. So we'll find out. My opinion, the last time I checked, my fat ass allowed to have one. My conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. I feel that Jaclyn Hill, and let me know if we agree or disagree. I feel like Jaclyn Hill is missing out. I feel like she can make more money on her own, no Morphe, no middleman. She, she can do it on her own, girl. She got, she's in the middle of a divorce. She ain't got no man. She has all the time in the world now to dedicate to her own brand. And I could definitely see her inside Sephora or something. And I'm not saying cut ties with Morphe. They can sell your makeup in their Morphe store and online. No tea, no shade. I just feel like Jaclyn Hill, maybe, and I may be wrong, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I just feel like maybe Jaclyn Hill has put a lot of wasted energy into Morphe. The first time, no, don't cover me. The first time around with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I understand. 
okay? You work with them so much, you push your promo code, y'all did a little brush line together, you did a favorite eyeshadow palette together, and then you had your own palette. So I feel like you went through the steps, okay? So now that we're doing it again, I'm like, oh, well, I was kind of expecting you'd have your own your own place by now type of thing. I didn't think you would go with them again. Because if you look at Laura, Manny, and everybody else, they, I think even Bretman Rock, they've had their little, and Nikita Dragon has lips now, okay? The red lipstick with Morphe lovers from man. It's kind of like a yin and a yang. You help Morphe, Morphe helps you. How long are you gonna keep riding that coattail before you finally decide to be like, you know what? I have enough pull. I can do this on my own, not bother. Okay. And I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it, girl. I'm not an old Jack and Hill PR list. She never talked to me. We don't go down to the casino and play Willy Wonka together or nothing. And the video was a little awkward. And she did push her promo code more than usual, girl. So she's back at it again with the Morphe. So all summer long is gonna be Morphe, Morphe, Morphe. You already know the cows. And I and I, look, my opinion about Morphe is probably totally different from everyone else's. It's probably totally different from everybody else's. I feel like Morphe is like right in the middle. Like it's not bad, but it's not like, oh my gosh, super amazing. This is like, you should charge 50 bucks for this one eyeshadow. I feel like it's just right in the middle. I feel like it's decent. It's mediocre makeup. I always feel like they gear toward the beginners. Like this is for the girls who just start out, who don't got a lot of money. Like this is it. This is the tea. This is the everyday woman's makeup. This is the people's makeup. That's why I feel like Morphe is. I feel like it's like the people's makeup, okay? And I, being a fat, bougie bitch girl, I kind of feel like I only live once in this world and I don't want to have mediocre makeup, girl. I want to have the best, okay? I want to die saying I never used busted ass makeup, but of course, I say that, girl, and uh, I love some man. But to each their own. I'm not saying Morphe's bad. I'm not saying Morphe is the worst company in the world. I'm just pretty sure that their other brands are more sickening. You know what I'm saying? And I just find it quite funny how they're playing it to Jaclyn Hill all over again. Pander, 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 pandering their audience to this Morphe. And I feel like Morphe wouldn't be what it was if it wasn't for beauty gurus who built up Morphe. Girl, I, nobody knew who Morphe was. It wasn't until the beauty gurus started coming around. They started pumping out checks, girl, and collabs and sponsors and giving little discount codes. Again, I already know I probably offended so many people, girl. I'm not saying anything bad about Morphe. I'm just saying my opinion. And you can leave yours in the comment down below and we can agree to disagree. If you take nothing away from this video, take the fact that I feel that Jaclyn Hill could have her own makeup line by now, if she wasn't fooling around with Morphe so much. Even if, girl, even if, if it was Jaclyn Hill Cosmetic and she had her own brand and own everything, but all the shadows were actually Morphe. That, I'm just saying, like, at least it would be a little different. I mean, does she really need Jaclyn Hill X Morphe? No, I feel like at this point, she could do her own palette, cut the middle man out and do her own gig, girl. A lot of times in life, girl, you think you're doing the right thing and you end up doing the wrong thing. You don't even know it. I think that if Jaclyn Hill doesn't wake up, she will see that she has enough influence to have her own makeup line and also sell out times 10 out of all her little competition, girl. But I don't think she realizes it. It's one of those things where I feel like she kind of holds herself back, girl, especially after going to that divorce, girl. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, since you're haters, so when you watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise, brand new t-shirts, and music on iTunes. See you next video. Bye, love you so much. I got, 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 I got